Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap 5 video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Bootstrap border related classes. We understand how to add border to an HTML element, how to remove border from an HTML element, how to set border color, etc. etc. So let's get started. I minimize the Word document. Here we have my dash website folder. I open it. Inside my dash website folder, we have default.html page. I right click on it. Say open with notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to bootstrap demo. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page. Say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to bootstrap demo. Let's understand bootstrap border related classes one by one. First we have border class. Border class sets the border on all side of an HTML element. For example, if I come to the body section, I say here opening due and closing due. Inside this due, I put some text. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see some text is displayed, but it has no border applied, right? If I come here and say class of border. Now what happens? This div is going to have the border guides. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the div has border. Just to make you more clearly understand, I am going to add some margin to it. I say m-3. m-3 means 16 pixels, right? 16 pixels margin I am adding to this div. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see the 16 pixels margin is added and you can see border class is adding the border on all four sides of the element, right? Top border, right border, bottom border, left border, right? Next we have border dash top class. It sets the border only on top side of the element, guys. For example, if I copy this and paste down. Here I say border dash top. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see this too has only top border. So border dash top class sets the border only on top side of the element. There is no right border. There is no bottom border. There is no left border. You can see that. In the same way, I'm going to copy this and paste down and say here border dash end. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, border dash end class sets the border only on right side of the element. Okay, border dash end class sets the border only on right side of an HTML element. Border dash bottom sets the border only on bottom side. Border dash start class sets the border only on left side guys. Let's see, I'm going to copy this and paste down. If I say here border dash bottom, file, save, go to browser and refresh. This view has the border only on bottom side, you can see that. So border dash bottom class sets the border only on bottom side of the element. There is no left side border, there is no top border, there is no right border, you can see that. Similarly, I'm going to copy this and paste down. If I say here border dash start, file, save. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that border dash start class sets the border only on left side of the element, right? So that is how you use the border classes to add the border to an HTML element. Let's understand more classes, guys. We have border dash top dash zero class. It sets the top border to zero pixels. That means it removes the top border, guys. It removes the top border of an HTML element. For example, if I copy this and paste down and if I come here and add the border, okay, what happens when we use the border class? It sets the border on all four sides, right? If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that it is setting the border on all four sides. Okay, I copy this again and paste down. If I say file, save, Go to browser and refresh. We got one more div with 
the border set if you want to remove only the top border okay if you want to remove only the top border in that case what you do you use the border dash top dash zero border dash top dash zero class removes the border from top side of the element only top side file save go to browser and refresh you see border top is removed we have the border on the right side bottom on the left side right so that is how you can use border dash top dash zero to remove the top border only in the same way if i say here border okay i remove this if i save come here and refresh we have the border on all four sides if you want to remove the border from right side okay right side then what you do guys simply you say border dash end dash zero end means right side file save go to browser and refresh you can see the right side border is removed i'm going to copy this and paste down if i say here border dash bottom dash zero file save go to browser and refresh you can see this view has the border on left side top side and right side there is no border on the bottom side you can see that right in the same way we have border dash start dash zero start dash zero that removes the border only from the left side if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see there is no left side border guys right so that is how you can use the border removal classes so we also have border dash zero class which actually removes the border from all sides for example if i copy this and paste down okay let's have the border first so if i use the border class we know that it sets the border on all four sides file save go to browser and refresh so we have a div with the border on all four sides and if i come here and say border dash zero if i say file save go to browser and refresh you see the border is removed from this last div you can see that right so that is how you can use the border removal related classes okay next we understand how to set color to border or how to apply color to border guys so we have border dash primary border dash secondary border dash success border dash warning border dash info border dash danger border dash dark we have border dash light class okay let's understand if i copy this and paste down file save go to browser and refresh see we got a div with the border set on all four sides now i'm going to copy this again and paste down this time what i do i say border dash primary so this sets the blue color to the border guys if i say file save go to browser and refresh we got a div with the blue color border right that's how you set the color guys if i copy this and paste down if i see here border dash for example success if i say file save go to browser and refresh we got one more div with the green color border right if i copy this and paste down if i say here warning file save go to browser and refresh we got yellow color border you can see that if i paste here and say danger d a n g e r file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got red color border applied here so like that you can change the color of the border guys if you want to set the border to an html element you can also use css border property if you want to know how to set border to an html element with the help of css border properties i strongly suggest you people to watch my css video tutorials available on my youtube channel chidresh tech tutorials okay let's see one example okay just one example i'm going to copy this and paste down instead of using the the border classes now i use the css style border here i can set the border for example 5 pixels border i want thick border the border style should be solid and the color should be red if i say file save go to browser and refresh we got a div with the border which has 5 pixels thickness 
right and it has the color red you can see that i'm going to copy this and if i say here double d o u b l e double if i say file save go to browser and refresh this time we got the double border right so if you want to know how to set border to an html element with the help of css border properties i strongly suggest you people to watch my css video tutorial guys i hope you guys have clearly understood bootstrap border related classes i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly try it yourself if you try you get more clear idea guys in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about bootstrap for more benefits and be update do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.